video I'm your host Brad it's currently Tuesday August the 29th 2023 currently let's load the weather again it's 21 degrees Celsius feels like 21 partly cloudy looks like a beautiful day not much clouds in the sky and a few really low clouds way off in the distance humidity 80% dew point 17 degrees Celsius Pressure 1020 millibars, UV index low 2, and visibility is 16 kilometers. Wind is 11 kilometers an hour light from the northeast. Anyway, we're at the Gundi Sports Ground, Gundi Sports Reserve, all the different names that it goes under. We're going to have a bit better look around than what we normally do. And there's no one here. There was people here before with the dog, so I don't know if they're still somewhere around. And that, but we'll show whatever we can while we can. Try not to show them for privacy reasons, for their privacy. And we'll continue on. There's the clubhouse. Apparently, it's been there since 1988, gone by the signage. Leichhardt Street over there. Here's one of your covered areas where people sit to watch games. We've got over near the Cricket picture yeah, they're still there with their car, their vehicle. This is the old IGA, and you've got the chemist. It's all that's basically in use over there now. Be nice to see IGA Spa reopen, someone to take it over and keep it as a supermarket. Good if it was there for another 20, 30 years in use so. So there's your right. cricket nets for the practicing and all that so we'll go over and show that a bit better I don't think we've ever really shown them properly there's the old spa there Needs a bit of maintenance as usual, like a lot of things. There's some electrical work being done down near the highway, which you might show a little bit off. It is your, your cricket practice nets. I have seen a lot of people use this over the years. It's always best to show as much detail as possible. You never know when things are going to change. So they might walk around the perimeter of the cricket nets and then go along the perimeter of the sports ground, show as much as we can. There's Gundy Band and the house across there, which is supposed to be being moved. I'd love to know when it's getting moved so I can get video be interesting and time lapses and stuff so they're doing all the electrical down here towards the old spa so I can't really walk in there all the way be nice if they made the footpath go all the way around the event. That would be great. Yeah, you can sort of see in there a bit what they're doing. There's PCYC across there. The old spa, which was IGA at first. Out of the supermarkets, that is. Okay, so this pathway. Well, there's the old Kimmick steel sign, so we'll show that. Frank Cattoli's old business. It's now moved out to Gundy. 
industrial estate out there. Be nice if it was preserved, that sign, either given to him or to the museum. So we'll get a photo of that. A couple of photos. They must have sponsored this. Yeah, pro proudly supporting in his file district cricket association there you go but yeah this pathway went all the way around here underneath and caught up with the um with the crossing over here would be a lot better there's a crossing with lights and all that which will show i'm not going to walk through the middle because of the plovers like i said before they go crazy we might go out a little bit and show the the directory that's over there for the you know, clubs and that showing a bit of detail the sign here needs a good clean wow it's dirtier than when i last come along here We've got photos and video of it healthy eating participate bite something it's too hard to read but here's oh there's all advertising and stuff on there now it's not just clubs and stuff i'll we'll zoom in a little bit Show what's possible. I'll get a couple of photos. Like I usually say, if I remember, I'll put them on the end of the video. Get that house before it's gone. Show that while we're here. You know, this used to be the house for the um, person doing all the, oh, the groundskeeper at the showgrounds, the maintenance and that. Okay. Check all that out, hopefully it shows up. Okay, we'll zoom back out. The more you zoom out the better better picture quality. Okay. Keep walking along. It did rain last night, so it'll be a bit slushy along here. Okay. Yeah, it'd be safer to ride on the actual bike track than what that guy's doing. But anyway, I'm going to adjust the colour and I'll be back. The brightness, I mean. And we're back. Okay, so this is your Gundy Sports Reserve. Like I was saying before. Underutilised at certain times of the year. A lot of trees here. There are signs out that say different names for the park, like Herb Collins Oval and all that. Would have been nice if they cemented the whole um, drainage system over here when they did up Gundy Bend in 2018. Instead of just leaving it the way it is. If it went all the way along, it would be better on both sides cemented would be great but we'll have a look down here and see what's going on this is probably a herb collins oval sign i think it is pretty sure it is the way this one works yep oh, just checking my microphone so yeah, it'd be nice if they cemented all this made it better yeah Herb Collins Oval, it's hard to show it, so I can't get far enough back. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, there you can see the plover's going off, they come in my direction right now. If I wasn't under the trees, they'd be swooping me. Can see them there that's why i say don't walk across the middle of it i've watched people do it they learn the hard way okay continue you along there are some nice trees along here they just need to be looked after and the tree branches that fall off picked up regularly there's a intersection of Blackwood Street and the Bruce Highway.
Palmerston Drive, Bridge Highway. Like further up, it's towards town, it becomes Edith Street. Basically, from Revolution Street onwards, it becomes Edith Street. But it's still part of the Bruce Highway, so I still mention it. It's both. It's another undercover seating area. Show what these are like because you never know. It might change the way these are done. And because they've taken a lot of the bins away, people just dump rubbish everywhere. But even when there is bins, people do dump rubbish, which is pretty sad. There's rubbish over here. I don't know why people can't walk to a bin or walk home or go over to behind the clubhouse where there's usually wheelie bins. But here's your undercover seating. Show it as much as we can without the birds coming after us. From the angles, and there's the, the crossing that I was talking about before. It goes across. You get to Blackwood Street. It'd be nice if the pathway went all the way down and there was a crossing across there. Proper one from that corner to the house across there would be great. If they did that. Corner of Blackwood. It is your intersection anyway, what they've done. Camera is struggling with the lighting. There it is. There's a few steps here, so it's not really, oh, it's not weird to, wheelchair accessible. Half, half this should be um, steps and half a ramp. A gradual ramp. That would be great. So you can see where they cemented and did a bit of here with the the guttering. I think they should have done it all the way. But anyway. You your taps over here. Tap. And coming up on the Innisfail sign too. It's basically welcome to Innisfail. and have a look at the signs. There's a Stephen Corica sign now, finally. Been there for about a year and a half, two years. Uh, the famous NFL soccer player. He's played in international games for the soccer area. Yeah. I remember this being here in the early 90s. I've been here a long time. Just never really had any maintenance done to it. Be nice if it was cleaned regularly. Even just for aesthetic reasons, so it looks better. But look how steep it is. I'll try and get the camera to show it. Yeah, it's not easy. There we go. And there we go. Sorry about the runny nose. Something that frustrates me more than it frustrates people listening. I'm sure. Very frustrating. Anyway, we do the best we can. While it's possible, health's not 100%, so I've got to do things when I can. And my body lets me, because you just never know what's going to happen. But anyway, here's your clubhouse. They often have voting here too. Government voting and all that. Different types of voting collection stuff and that. Okay, I'll show that as much as we can. I'm not going to go up too close. I might go up and show that plaque up there though and read it out a bit. Honourable Mark Rowell MLA, member for Hinchinbrook. Second of November nineteen ninety six. Okay. Yeah, second of November 
1996, a project of Innisfail Combined Sports Association Inc. in conjunction with Johnson Shire Council, Queensland Department of Tourism, Sport and Racing and Commonwealth Department of Environment, Sport and Territories. There you go. Interesting. Okay. So I go back to stay away. Just show the detail as best we can. Okay. So here's your main oval thing I think they use for up here. It's one of the cover areas, some lighting. Often I see this lit up at night. You can see it a mile away at times. There's your sports clubhouse again. We're coming up on the car park soon. What's it say there? Chargers. C H A R G E R S. Must be the team that's there now. Castlebury Coast Junior Rugby Union. There we go. Class 3 zone, no smoking. Sess Anderson Oval, this one. Yeah, Sess Anderson Oval. Combined sports, couldn't you bend on that, on that bin? The bins around, look for them, use them. Here's your car park. Not the worst car park, not very big, but it's a bit more maintained than some of the others around. The one or into lakes needs to be fully done up. It would be nice to see. I'm sure people park down there at times when necessary, when they have to. Dog free zone, written on there. And that's why those people didn't stay for very long, as I saw before. There's a dog free zone. And probably saw the signs. Although it would be it would be good if the council had a sign saying where there is. So it says dog free zone here. It would be nice. If they had even what right over the other side there, if they had a um, an off-leash area for dogs with a big fence, a gate, and all that for safety, and not just for the safety of people near there, it's the residents in the area too. Yeah, if they had a sign saying where the off off-leash areas are, the best places to walk dogs at places like this, because it's obvious that people are going to come here and want to use it for that reason. Uh, the signs and get them have them maintained regularly so they're readable because they do tend to go moldy like this sign here les shoe sporting complex sign is very moldy okay camera was certainly struggling with the lighting then see the sky was all blown out problem is when you go under where it's darker it has trouble. So, but anyway, we're trying to raise money to get better equipment. And that, if you want to have a look in the link in the description, it's towards the top, the PayPal link. With the PayPal link, I get more of the money to use for equipment. Less of it gets taken for fees and that. This is the way we need it to be, so they don't get it. Need to buy some better camera equipment so we can show in as far as it was for future generations and us to see. Now I'm walking on Leichhardt Street, so I'm going to enter the car park up here where the driveway is and go back and show the main clubhouse, the Les Shoe Sporting Complex sign, the Glass Free Zone sign and all that, and the playground. And then we'll conclude the video. But yeah, if you want to donate to the channel, that's the best way to do it. And liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing helps too. I don't get paid by YouTube, but the more the more people interact with the channel, and the longer they watch videos and all that, the more YouTube's likely to recommend the videos to people, and then the channel will grow more, and then I get to the point of making money to cover my costs. Because there's certainly costs involved, which I'm quite happy to do. 
oh, there's no wheelie bins here like there normally is at the back. And then they complain that there's rubbish around the council. Well, I don't know if they do anymore, but they used to. Dog free zone. This complex is a glass free zone. Still got the Johnson Shire Council a while ago on there, but you can't see it properly, sadly. Wish you could. You can sort of see the emblem there, the top. We've got old lights because that might change after a while. What's up there? Friends of mine used to say it looks like a rocket ship because of the bottom of it. You get this bit of a bit there that's like a rocket ship. Which I agree. Okay. These are where the toilets are, but they're only open when there's things on here, events and that. Because this isn't the widest angle camera. Whoa. Zoom back out. Just the lighting again. Whew. So long. Australian Bicentenary, 1788 to 1988, Sports Pavilion. Just written on there. Oh, let's get the camera straight. Oh, it doesn't want to go straight. The heat doesn't help. And then we'll show the sports, uh, the playground here. So we've got bubbles here, but I personally wouldn't use them in the normal taps. And that, there's your bubblers down here. There is bird pill on the ground, like really horrible ones, so I won't show it. Bicentennial Sports Pavilion at Johnson Shire Council, Australian Bicentennial Project, officially opened by A. G. Bill Eaton, MLA, Sunday the 13th of March 1988. Stage one, Herb Collins Oval upgrade. Try and get it to show that. Oh, camera does not want to do it. Yeah, stage one, Herb Collins Oval upgrade. The Honourable Steve Dixon, Minister for National Parks, Recreation, Sport and Racing on 9th of the 12th, 2014. There you go. That was upgraded then. Oh, there's bins here. I think I showed some bins earlier too, but there's bins here. There you go. A couple of wheelie bins, a wet waste, and a standard one. Okay, so we'll show this. Show the design I've got on here. There's always a little bit of writing still. On here, I think people have used pens that aren't, um, aren't the best. So there's all the, maybe the board's not very good. A whiteboard. So you can see Tully, and you can see Luke's LB versus Joffrey's. Headhunters, mud crabs. Mud crabs have done there a few times. Salad dwellers. Joffrey's, LMB India, PA TTOS team, Young Guns. Yeah, there's a few. In here. Okay, let's go across and show the show the playground as much as we can because that could change. Much detail. The easiest way to show detail is to go in there, but no. Spent many a time here with friends, kids, them playing, and they loved it. They still mention it. It's been a couple of years. Yep, every now and then one of them will mention it. Oh, I miss going to that playground near, the, near where IGA was, in Spa. It's not a bad little playground. It just needs to be cleaned regularly. Got your and crosses there. Yeah, 
There's plenty of photos of this on Old New and as far photos on Facebook if you want to have a look. You'll find them somewhere, aren't they? And there you go. So that's the playground. The one at Flying Fish Point got changed around. So I made sure I've shown both over the time because you just never know. You wait until there's no kids around and you do it. Okay. What else do we need to show around here? We showed all this over here, the undercover seating area and towards the old spa, IGA. Okay, so that's a bit further away, sort of distance showing it. So there's a few shops here. We might show along a junk called Toyota is just to show a bit more detail of the area and then we'll leave it at that. So this is the best of times keeping memories alive for us and future generations to see. Check the links in the description to help. Person didn't use their indicator. Both way. Oh they did that way and they turned that way. But anyway. Continue along. See where Baltos and that used to be. Which moved down to Station Street, but I don't think they're still there. I think they're gone. All together. But they were right here on the end. There was a medical centre in there for a little while. Skin care place. But skin cancer and all that. Don De Palma. Dr. De Palma. Yeah, he moved out. What he was promised, what I was told, what, his, what he was promised wasn't fulfilled. So he moved back to where he was. Door opens out, Community Sports Centre in as well, Inc. Yeah, the stuff written on there one other time. Very hard to read sign at times. Okay, there's something coming, so stop. Yeah. chemist here. Pharmacy open seven days. Now open. A live pharmacy warehouse. And we'll go to where Spa IJ used to be. So that was Leichhardt Street. Pharmacy and driver in there. Bar, Elms Bar Supermarket, yeah, everything's still in there except for the food and all that, yeah, you won't be able to see it in video I don't think, no, the shelving, the trolleys, everything's still there. You can see where the ATM used to be, which always had issues, played up a lot. Yeah, I wish that was still open, or reopen. That'd be great. It was open good hours. Here's a shout out to, to Jim in America. He always likes the, uh, the brick pavers on Pathways. He often mentions it to me when he sees it in videos. So here's a bit of a look for you. Shout out to Jim. Thanks for watching the videos.
And a shout out to Geelong Walks if you're watching this video. Feel free to comment in the comment section if you're watching it. Shout out to everybody who has shown their support over the years. With likes, shares, comments, subscribe, or just, even just watching. And people who have supported old new and well photos on Facebook. Feel free to check that out. You gotta accept the rules when you try and join. Otherwise, Facebook just declines your request to join straight away. There's nothing I can do about it. I didn't even get to see it a lot of the time. It's just gone. People said to me, oh, I tried to join your group, Facebook group. I said, did you accept the rules? No. They're just basic rules, like, you know, keep it G-rated, no bullying, no swearing, you know, all that stuff. So, that was IBS Engineering, just there. And then, coming up to John Cole Toyota. Showgrounds on my right. Which we've shown so many times that so we'll show John Cole Toyota as best as we can. Garage World Chad Boston that was. It's just up past us. As much detail as we can. And back where we just came from. Gives you what I see across there. Garden used to be really nice. It's not too bad now. They've done it up a little bit since. But it used to be really nice. Nice flowers and stuff. Right. Just show grounds across there. Show quickly. While we're here, and back where we just came from, down to Toyota, and then we're head boss garage world, and all that. Which is no longer there anymore. The buildings are still there, but that's it. The signage is sort of there, it's got a poor lease written on it. Geraldton Graphics, buy local or buy by local. It's for sale. In that evolution, the cafe is really popular. Arts, eats, and coffee. It's not for sale anyway. So, whether they'll move to somewhere else or they're just retiring, don't know. But there's your signage. You get a chance of seeing it before it's gone, because you never know. Con Revolution and Palmerston Drive. It's closed at the moment, so we can show the signage. While we're here, Monday, Tuesday, they're closed. Yeah, very popular place. Food's supposed to be really nice. I only went in there when it first opened, so I couldn't go buy it. There wasn't, wasn't much variety then, but there probably is now. Thank you. A lot of people speak very highly of it. Okay, so we'll finish the video just up here. Show the glass place, because that's up for sale, the windscreen place. And this mural across here could do with 
repainting over it, like just tidying it up, fixing it up. There's a guy called Glenn and the council's very aware of him that would be perfect for doing that. And I, I think he'd do it. And he'd do a fabulous job. Yeah, he's brilliant. This stuff. Yeah, this mural over here. The showgrounds entrance, Peace Park. Go up and show the mobile windscreens and tinting and then we'll finish. So as always, thanks for watching. Links in the description, the usual like, share, comment, subscribe. Good to show support for people giving it a go. I know a lot of times in in towns, it depends on your last name, whether they'll show support or not. Not always, but a lot of the time. Often the people who don't really need the support get the support. I've noticed that. Just want to show the signage at the Windy uh, at the golf course clubhouse. Just trying to think of. So I'll be going across to show it. Yeah, check the links in the description to different people's YouTube channels that I've mentioned on there. Let them know that Best of Times Reborn sent you. Or just hashtag Best of Times. Recommended it. Whether it be Kenneth Allen Photography, Geelong Walks, The Ken Continuum, uh, Johnny Strides, people like that. Best of Times Reborn, old new NSL photos on Facebook, all that. And the others are on YouTube. Some of them are on Facebook as well. I'll catch you in the next one.